Hello guys, and welcome to the seventh episode of the How to Make an RPG in Unity tutorial series. Um, and in this episode, we're going to be making um, we're going to be making a hotbar system for all of our for our inventory weapon system, or sorry, our hotbar system that we made in the last episode. Um, so you can see here, um, in the last episode, we had a hotbar established in our player data script, uh, and when we pick up a weapon, we can see that something will pop up in our hotbar. Um, and that's good, that's what we need. Uh, so today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a, hot, a hotbar, um, and we're going to actually be also maybe getting into um, equip, equipping items, um, but we won't be actually able to display the item equipped yet, we'll just have like the equip function um, implemented. Um, but yeah, with that said, we're just going to start get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to move this slider up um, because the health bar is now going to be on the top left, so we can have our or sorry, that, yeah, so we can have our hot bar down here in the middle. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty called hot bar. Let's call this hot bar. Hot bar. Um, we can center it. Um, and we're just going to create a, a, a panel. Um, and basically, in my scene, I have imported a couple of assets, three different assets. I'll link in the descriptions below. So one is a free pack asset. Uh, well, they're all free, um, as they always are. Um, but all of these are UI packages. They're um, sword packages, sword icons, you can see here. Um, I believe there's another one for uh, RPG items, uh, inventory items, and then, yeah. Okay, so what we're just going to be very basically doing is we're just going to have our hotbar, which you can see here, has a panel. Um, we're just going to make this panel a bit more established by changing the alpha, and you can see here it looks pretty good. But it's taking up quite a lot of our screen, though, so I'm just going to make the hotbar smaller. And then we're going to make it a slightly grayer ish hue. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create these little boxes for our each of our individual items. So I believe we have 10 different items. Yep, 0 to 9. So we're just going to create three, uh, 10 different boxes. So we're just going to create a new panel. Uh, let's change this to not be stretched. We're going to make this, we're going to make the, uh, the centered. Um, and then we can just make the height and the width the same so that everything fits. And then we have it here. Okay, cool. So now we can just change this name to be item. And we can change this to be background. And then we can just duplicate this a bunch. And then basically we'll have our hotbar ready. Do -do -do. So each of these little boxes are going to represent um, a single a single um, item slot in our hotbar. Um, uh, we don't actually have enough space. So we might actually want to just make all of these 45 by 45 instead of 50 by 50 so we can conserve on space. Um, so we can actually fit 10 items. Uh, do, do, do. Let me just move all these guys down. Uh, yeah, you can see here um, that my things are my item slots are actually kind of uneven. You can see there's the spaces between them are kind of uneven. Um, what you can do is you can get a ruler tool out. Um, there's some free assets, or I don't know if Unity has a built-in um, uh, built-in um, ruler system, but there's a really cool asset that I like to use that I'll link in the description below. Um, but for now, I'm just going to have this, um, and I might fix it off camera um, after this episode is done recording. Uh, yeah, let me just get everything. I have to make the hot part bigger, actually. You know what? That's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to make the hot part bigger then. Um, Okay, oops, wrong thing. Okay. 
done. Now we can make this more even and now duplicate this and move it onto the side. Actually, it looks really uneven. <laughs> Not a little uneven. Um, oh God. Okay, there we go. I don't know why this is here. Okay, but let's just move that there. Drag this in a bit more. And we can just drag everything to the left a bit. And center it. Oh wait, cool. It looks really uneven. I'll fix it off off camera, but um, yeah, that's basically going to be our hotbar for our game. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to in our edit our um scriptable object script a little bit. So we're going to go into our object data. Uh, wait for uh Visual Studio to load, and once it has loaded, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sprite object variable that will be used for storing our sprites um, for our item. So we're just going to say public sprite sprite sprite. Um, and now when we go back in Unity, you can see here that if we go into our objects folder and look at our first object, wooden sword, there's going to be a new place uh, or a new variable slot that we can insert a slot, uh, a sprite into. And because it's a wooden sword, we're just going to go into our, uh, not RPG icons, our sword icons, and just find something that looks like a wooden sword. I, none of them look like wooden swords. I'm just going to pretend this one's a wooden sword. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, our uh, script for our player data um, and we're gonna look for actually no not player data we're gonna look for the script where we attached um, or pick up our item um, which I suppose is in ground item okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in player data and we're going to create a new function so we're gonna say uh, public void um, reload hotbar and this uh this function will run whenever we pick up or drop an item um and basically what we're going to do is we're going to um for now we're just going to loop uh through the entire whoops we're going to loop through the entire um array that we have for our hotbar so we're going to for each item that is less than hotbar dot length um, if the integer is less than hotbar that length, then we're going to look for um, if it if if hotbar i is equal to null or not. So if hotbar i if there's actually a thing at hotbar at the x number at the ne x number of hop, uh, hotbar slots, um, and basically if there is an item in that slot, then what we're going to do is we're just going to display it. So we're going to actually um have another have another array of public game or not game on images um of and we're going to call this hotbar slots and basically we're just going to make hotbar slots dots uh i but uh, uh sprite is going to be equal to um hotbar I dot spread. Uh, basically, we loop through the entire hotbar. If you don't understand what this code is saying, we loop through the entire hotbar. If hotbar, if the hotbar item is not null, um, then if there is something at the hotbar integer, like, um, for example, if we pick something up, then obviously there's going to be something at integer one, which is the first hotbar slot. Then we're going to display it. We're just going to set the first hotbar slot of our hotbar image array. Uh, to be the variable we stored earlier in this episode. Um, and this works well with many different items as well. Um, so it's very customizable. And we're just going to go back to player and we're going to attach our hotbar slots to it, to our newly created array. And we can just drag all these in. And we have to make sure actually, we have, I forgot something. We're going to actually have to delete all of these. Do, do. 
We're just, yeah, we're just gonna have to delete all these. Um, and we actually have to make sure all of these are in order. Um, or else, if we detect something on the third slot, it's just it's going to be set in, into um, into the fifth slot or wh wherever because our uh, item slots order is not um, is not good. Um, so item three, this will be where's four? Okay, there's four. This is five. Um, this is ten or something. Six. Okay, so six should go here. Seven. Okay. Eight. Yep. Nine. Actually, no. This is supposed to be nine. Perfect. Okay. And now we can finally drag everything that we just made into. So you can press the lock button so that when you click something else, it doesn't switch. Uh, the inspector up. And we just drag it into hop bar slots. And now when we unlock it and press play. And oh wait, my bad. We forgot to do one thing. We forgot to call the function. We have to call the reload function hop bar when we pick up our um in our ground item screens. Oh wait, so I actually realized I made an error earlier in my script. Uh it shouldn't be equal to null, it should be not equal to null. Um this is because we want to check if it is Act, there's actually a thing there, not if there's nothing there. Um, and also, we actually have to move data.reload hotbar lower down after the for loop. Um, because if we do it there, then the computer updates too fast. And technically, for to the computer, element 0, or whatever element it's going to be, when you pick up, um, it's still going to be null when you pick up because the computer's process too fast. But now you can see here, um, after we pick up the wooden sword, the sprite appears. Uh, Though not how we want it, because what we're going to want to do is actually um, have another um, smaller image inside um, of our inside of our uh, box, as you may call it, um, because we don't want the weapon slot um, UI to turn into the item, because that's not what we want. We want it to be spawned inside of the item, um, uh, inside of the item frame. Um, so let's just duplicate everything. Also turn down the alpha so the player can't see something extra inside the item box. Uh, just drag everything in. Turn down the alpha 35 by 35. And yeah, um, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'll see you in a while. Okay, so now that you have finished uh, duplicating everything, we're just going to copy every single one of these. You can select all of them by pressing control while you click on them, or holding control. Um, just click all of them. And then what we're going to essentially want to do is, actually first we're going to remove everything in hopper slots. So you can just do, do it very simply by pressing 0, and I'm making it 10 again. Now everything in hopper slots will be cleared. And we're just going to lock it again. Select everything by pressing Control, um, and then just dragging everything in. Actually, we have to make it zero first, and then we can drag everything. Okay, there we go. Now everything will work fine. Um, and when we go back into Unity, um, you can see here we pick up. Okay, <laughs> nothing happened. Uh, oh, okay. 
This is because our alpha on our image is still zero. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to set the alpha as not zero. Um, once we once we um play uh once we equip actually equip the item or like not equip but have it in our hotbar. So a couple of things we can do. Um, I guess we can just literally just set the alpha as like two fifty uh, five or like the most prominent alpha, or um, and it's said to be zero once we're done, or once we've thrown away the item or like moved it into our inventory. So what we can do is we can just say hot bar. Whoops, everything caps hot bar slots. I dot color is going to be equal to new color. Um, I guess it's just going to be the white default white color because uh, that would make uh, our image default white. So it would just be 255, 255, 255, 255. Uh, and there we go. That should work. We're not going to make, uh, make create a function for dropping yet because we don't even have equip done. Um, but now if we go back into Unity. You can see here that our weapon is equipped. Cool. That is very cool. Um, so now what we're going to need is we're going to need something to indicate which item um, we're actually equipping, or like not equipping, but which item we're selecting. Um, and I think I'll save that for the next episode because this episode is getting quite long. Um, and I spent a very long time debugging, which I shouldn't have because I've made one simple mistake in my code. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, and thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.